Hello everybody and welcome back to a lecture series. I'm Ted, your host, and for this fast fact, uh, we're going to examine the career and the reign of Snefru. Now, Snefru is memorable for a number of reasons. Chief amongst, his re uh, chief amongst the reasons that we remember Snefru is that he is the king who, uh, he taught Egypt how to build true pyramids. And the inspiration for Snefru's journey to building, uh, constructing true pyramids uh, was the accomplishment of a predecessor by the name of Dozier. And Dozier's great accomplishment was that he built uh, what we call the first step pyramid in Egypt. Uh, and, this, and the step pyramid was a, uh, it, the term is mustaba, and it's an Arabic term for bench. We don't know what the Egyptian called it, but it was a, uh, a mustaba is um, the Arabic term for bench. And it, it uh it's a term used to describe these sort of stone uh monuments or slabs that were placed over egyptian graves to prevent um animals from getting towards from uh scavenger particularly from getting at the the corpse of a of a, of a dead king or nobleman and uh, snefru upon uh coming to uh to power he desired to um emulate and surpass dozier's step pyramid now, the journey towards the true pyramid was not an easy one, um, but the Snefru persisted. Um, he wanted to improve upon the design of the step pyramid, and he wanted to make all sides more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, he wanted them to have smooth sides. Now, Snefru would go on throughout the course of his reign and his career to construct three pyramids, uh, two at a site called Dashur, uh, the Ben Pyramid and the Red Pyramid, and one at Maidum, called the Maidum Pyramid. Now, Snefru's first attempt at pyramid building was the Pyramid of Maidum, which he called Jed Snefru. Now, Snefru, uh, and, and that simply means Snefru endures. Now, the Maidum Pyramid was originally conceived as a seven-layered um, step pyramid. Uh, 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 it, was it was supposed to be layered with seven uh, mastabas on top of each other, stacked on top of one, uh, one another. Uh, the plan was later chain to have all the sides filled in to create a smooth walled finish look now the decision to fill in the sides was kind of a last minute uh adjustment and that resulted in uncalculated weight which coupled with the fact that they built on top of sand and not bed rock made the structure unsound uh the pyramid suffered a partial collapse during construction and today we sort of view it as uh has looking more of like a giant tower than either a mustaba or a pyramid. Now, undeterred, Snefru set out to create a new monument, one that he calls Snefru is Shining in the South, and this was built at Dashur. Now, this pyramid is known to us as the Bent Pyramid, uh, and it had that the name implies it is bent. Uh, there's a very notable change in the slope of the pyramid from 54 degrees to 43, uh, 43 degrees. Now, Snefru had learned uh, from, from uh, what happened at the Maidum Pyramid that he had to uh, clear all the way until he hit bedrock, uh, which he did. But two of the sides were built on gravel. Uh, well, not gravel, but a gravel-like surface, which um, behaved very similar to, to sand. Um, and it almost led to another implosion. Um, has all the sides, has all the caves began to cave inwards together. Now, Snefru and his uh, and his chief, um, uh, his chief architect, Imhotep, they moved quickly. They moved quickly, and what they did was they imported cedar beams from the Levant, uh, the famed uh, cedars of Lebanon, uh, of Lebanon, and uh, they wedged them in between the walls. Um, preventing the, uh, the, the implosion, preventing the collapse of, of the Ben Pyramid. So again, uh, Snefru had to return to building a brand new monument, a brand new pyramid. Uh, and, he, and he's still building at that shore. He, he, uh, he stayed at the site of that shore. And he finally succeeds in his third attempt. Um, the first true pyramid is known as the Red Pyramid. And it has all smooth sides, and it is uh, structurally sound. It still stands uh, as it was as it was created uh, millennia ago by Snefru and his uh, his engineers and his laborers. And uh, this pyramid features a number of archaeological uh, marbles, but also a lot of architectural marbles. One is that it has corbeling 
in the burial chamber. And this was done to relieve the stress on the walls within the burial chamber. It, it, it was, uh, when it was completed, it was originally encased in fine white limestone and it had a very low inclination of 43 degrees. Uh, and also upon its completion, it was, uh, it was accompanied, it, uh, it had a, a subsidiary mortuary temple, um, which would be staffed by priests who would forever, uh, it was um, assumed by the, by the Egyptians, reside in that mortuary temple, be supported by the state, and offer prayers to Snefru and continue to worship Snefru long after his death. Now, in his journey to uh, building up to building a true pyramid, Snefru created the three largest structures in the world at the time, and they were all done in stone. They were among the earliest stone buildings, um, and, uh, and and to do so, he had to institute a quarrying and transportation system. Um, and, and and that system lasted throughout the rest of Egyptian history. Now, the most striking. Uh, aspect of the transportation system was that it, it did not use either horses or wheels. Both, uh, well, the horse is not native to Africa, and the wheel was simply not used in Egypt because there wasn't a whole lot of need for it. The, the entire kingdom, uh, the entire region is bisected, it's divided in two by the Nile River. All travel, all transportation was done via the Nile. Uh, and it also must be stressed that the Egyptians under, uh, under Snefru, they were using very simple tools. Uh, they were using copper tools and they were using ramps uh, made of mud and sand uh, to transport uh, all the materials needed to the building sites. And that'll wrap up our quick, um, our, our quick fast fact on Snefru and pyramid building. As always, hit like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought about this. And I am Ted, and I will see you guys next time for another fast fact.